Hello and welcome to my channel. And today, for my first video, I'm going to be doing a Ida Glistener Period Comfort. So let's get right into the video. You are in Hawaiian's point of view, and I'm just going to be saying point of view for each character so then you know which character is speaking, what they're thinking. So let's get into it. Hawaiian's point of view. You were laying in bed in agony due to the pain of your cramps when you heard Deku come into your dorm. Deku's point of view. Hey, Wyan, are you in here? He got cut off by seeing you laying there in agony, and so he ran into the classroom. He ran to Ida, and he told Ida what was happening, and they both ran back to your dorm. Ida's point of view. Star, are you okay? Wyan's point of view. When you heard Ida's voice, you said, Ida. You went, Ida, while crying. Sorry about that voice. I suck at voice. I was crying hard. Ida's point of view. Oh, star, I'm here. He runs and lays with you, holding you to his chest and rubbing your back. Hey, Deku, can you tell Mr. Aizawa that me and Wyan are not gonna, going to be in class for the next three days? Deku's point of view. Of course, Ida. He runs to class and tells Mr. Aizawa what, Aizawa what Ida told him to tell him. Wyan's point of view. Ow, Ida, it hurts. You cry out due to the pain of your cramps. Ida's point of view. I know, Star. What do you need me to do? Wyan's point of view. Can you grab the heating pad and cuddle me, please? Ow, you slightly cry due to the cramps. Ida's point of view, of course, my star. He goes and gets the heating pad. And comes back and gets in bed with you and places the heating pad on your stomach. And then he cuddles you into his chest and rubs your back. Is this, is this helping, star? Wyan's point of view, yes, it is. I love you, baby. Ida's point of view, I love you too, Star. And Ida, you and Ida fall asleep, cuddling each other, and he stays with you for the next three days. And when you weren't in pain, you guys went back to class. Thank you guys so much for watching. And this was a one-shot wrote by yours truly. And I will be making more stories like this one. See you later, my darlings.